Hey everybody, it's Dana from Digital Shoebox. I'm super excited to be sharing this video with you today. So I'm back talking about replacing audio on your YouTube videos and why I'm so excited because a lot of the features that were in the YouTube Studio Classic when it comes to video editing were removed when YouTube launched the new uh, YouTube Studio and now they've put them back in. So let's get right to it. I want you to navigate to your uh, YouTube Studio. So you're going to click up on your icon on the upper right hand corner and go to YouTube Studio. There's been another little change in the studio here. Over here we now have content where before that used to say videos. So you're going to click on the content and all your videos are going to load up on your page. I'm going to edit. This is my default here. The Pink Cup Charity Tournament is the video I use for uh, audio uh, samples. So I'm just going to click on the thumbnail and it's going to open up the video details. Over here on the right hand side, you're going to go right to editor. Now over here, here's the musical note and this is where you're going to change your audio. But first, I just want to point out that this uh, wave track here, this is your original audio. So when you click this, add a track, this window is going to open up over here. That's just going to have some general um, songs populated into it. But you can search up here, track title, genre, mood, artist name, duration. You can click on any of those or just type in whatever it is that you know you're looking for. So I know I'm looking for something bouncy. So I'm going to put in bouncy and it's going to show me all the songs that are uh, tagged as being bouncy. And I'm just going to slowly, I'm going to scan through. I know that there's a song here that I've um, previewed that I would like to use. So I'm just going to go find it. Okay, so this is the song that I want to use. It's called Strong Bones. And I'm just going to click Add. It's going to drop it into the audio timeline here. And then YouTube is going to do some rendering here so that we can preview before we commit to our changes. So now that it's loaded, I'm going to play this for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so there's a few other things that I want to show you in this uh, new editing window here. Number one, this is really important. If your original track is a voiceover, you need to pay attention to this equalizer right here. This is your mixer. So you're just going to click on it and you're going to bring your mix level down to whatever you think might be an appropriate level. So what this mix level is doing is bringing down the audio level of this music track, not of your original track. And again, YouTube needs a couple of seconds to render. And then when you hit play, this is going to sound really weird because it's two music tracks, but you'll be able to hear them both. So you're just going to play with that mixer until you get it to the right level that works for your voiceover and your music. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you was if you wanted to add more than one music track, we can do that now. Yay! I'm going to show you how to do that. You can adjust the length of this song that you've added just by hovering your mouse over at the end and dragging it. So you can make it as long or as short as you want it to be. You can also manipulate where the song starts by clicking and dragging on that audio track and just dragging it forwards and backwards. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, that's a whoops on me. I have to adjust my mixer. Hang on. So let's try that again. So 
So it was a bit of a delay there, but eventually the original music track did fade out and the new music track uh, took over. One more thing I want to show you is, let's say you wanted to add more than one music track to your video. We now can do that again. Yay! So I'm just going to throw in simple step here. Again, YouTube is going to uh, render it. Now, maybe I want to start with Strong Bones. I'm going to move that to the end. And maybe I want to finish with Simple Step. So if you click and drag it, see here's the end of my video right here. If I click and drag, nothing's going to happen because the song is longer. Uh, it won't let me move it past the end of the video. So I need to shorten it by clicking and dragging from the end. And then I can move the track. I have to keep doing that until it fits properly. So what, what I will do is, um, and then maybe I'll just make this track a little bit shorter. Just going to check the mixer, make sure the mix level is up at the top. And then let's see how that sounds. So I'm going to drag the playhead over here. And one thing you're going to want to pay attention to is if I hit play, here we go. There you go. It's switched over to the new track. How exciting is that? I'm so happy that you two put these audio edits back in. Now, if you hate everything, if you want to just remove the one track, you just click on remove. If you just want to return to your original track, uh, just hit discard changes. Everything is back to what you originally had it. Don't forget to hit save. If you've added music, uh, you'll want to hit save. And hit save. And here's the message that comes up. So that's all. That's all there is to it. I'm super happy to have brought this update to you. If you want to see other uh, how-to videos, don't forget, hit subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thanks for watching, and happy editing!